Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden packs? Well, look no further than my sponsor, MMO EXP, for the cheapest and the most reliable mug coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURTY at checkout for 5% off. The link for their website will be right at the top of the description. What's going on, guys? For the second video of the day, we are looking at the brand new Jimmy Graham. If you did miss that Kareem Hunt gameplay, we'll leave a card for that video in the top right right now. Before we hop into it, though, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 30,000 subscribers. Hit the subscribe button, turn notifications. We post daily Madden 21 content. And also, do not forget to hit that like button. I will leave a link to my Twitch channel down in the description. I will be live tonight. It'll probably end up being a pretty short stream, but I'm going to try to test my luck and see if we're able to pull that golden ticket tonight. So make sure you have your notice on so you are notified when I do go live. And as always, for some reason, my phone unlocked. But shout out to my man, Bray Slay Day YT. Bray Slay Day YT for commenting the emoji on last video. So here is Jimmy Graham. He's got 93 speed with 99 acceleration, 80 strength, 99 catching, 96 catching traffic, 97 spec catch, 99 short, 95 mid with 72 run block. The card is 6'7", 265 pounds. I do feel like his strength is a little bit low because the Kareem Hunt card that I just went over actually has better strength than Jimmy Graham, who's 6'7", 265 pounds. So I wonder if the strength's going to affect the way that he does play. I doubt it does. But today we are rocking with full play fake and full sprinter on Jimmy Graham, putting him to a 98 overall. So Jimmy Graham's last upgrade was his 50 card. And I know it feels like that was so long ago, but whenever that card did come out, he was definitely a top tier tight end in Mutt. I mean, is this guy a top tier tight end right now? Maybe not. I would probably put him in like top six, top seven, maybe top eight. He's definitely in that conversation, you know, being 6'7 and having... Pretty good speed at 93, you know, so I'll take that. It's a big body target, going to be great in the red zone and short yardage. Um, as you guys can see right there with a the 99 short route running. But this card does have its holes. And honestly, this guy might be a dark horse for a golden ticket. I know last year we had, I cannot remember his name. I cannot remember the, the uh, tight end's name, the Steelers tight end. I cannot remember that guy's name, but oh man, what was that? Dude? I can't remember his name, but he. I mean, Jimmy Graham might be a dark horse because he's got good speed. His build is there. Maybe you like boost the strength. Maybe, you know, can help out that COD a little bit. And also that break tackle. Even on this card, I wish the break tackle was a little bit higher. You know, being 6'7 and being so big out there, I kind of wish that that break tackle was at least like high 80s. At least high 80s. At least plus 10 on the break tackle. But it is what it is. This card is definitely still solid for, like I said, short yardage goal line scenarios. And, and if we get anything else out of him, that's honestly a major W too. So let's head over to the abilities. Jimmy Graham, vertical threat archetype. Um, three ability slots being a 97 overall base. Um, in the X Factor slot today, we're rocking with Vanguard. In the first slot, here's what he gets. Um, some pretty solid abilities for a tight end. I really only recommend matchup nightmare. And if you I guess if you want, you can go red zone threat. Does he get red zone threat? Yeah, I think he does. Yeah, red zone threat's one AP on him too. So I, I'd either run red zone threat or I'd run with um or I'd run with a matchup nightmare, one of the two. So those are my recommendations right there for the tight end. Obviously, tight end apprentice is also super good too. Maybe deep in, deep out, also one AP on the tight end. Uh, for team cams, he does get a whole lot. Saints, Seahawks, Packers, and Bears. And um, yeah, full play fake, full sprinter. And for front, we're rocking with the Jimmy Graham flashback. But like I said, also, also has his 50 card R2, which actually looks really, really nice. So let's just hop right into it, man. I'm definitely excited to use Jimmy. Because I actually did enjoy his previous card, like I said. So I wonder how this guy's going to, you know, pan out in today's meta. But uh, yeah, it's enough talking. Let's hop right into it. All right, here we go. Game number one, we are facing Jack Hanlon 2-4. And there's his top three. He's got Baker. He's got Sam. He's got Derrick Henry. Might be honors Derrick Henry with the old card art. That's probably what it is. So this guy might be a runner, but he's also got Baker. And we're starting this game off on defense. But we are rocking with the, uh, you know, the Color Rush Saints units, which, which are always beautiful. And I, when I edited the Kareem Hunt video, I realized I barely showed, I don't think I showed, did I even show any of the defense in that video? Because I think we got into like four or five games in that video, and yeah, there was a lot of offense. If I, if I put my defensive clips in there too, it may have ended up being like a 20 minute video. I don't like, you know, making you guys, you know, you guys are here to watch the offensive player work, but you know, I, I kind of want to show you guys what the defense is looking like. So what I've been doing is, I sub in Quinton Williams, put him at defensive tackle, and then we put, uh, we put Jamal Adams here, we put Atwater up here. And then, actually, I honestly could put, I actually might switch that up. I actually might put, let's put, yeah, let's put Atwater in the box, and then we'll put Jamal over the top, and then we're going to put Ronnie Lott in the slot. So I'm actually not really using Brian Poole right now. Um, this is actually not, this is not the right formation, but 
yeah, we're using it with Clowney. We, we leave, uh, you know, Neville Hute on the outside. He wants to go corner out tight end probably. No one's open whatsoever. And there we go. My man Mark get, getting the QB pressure. I think I like putting Jamal over the top for now because Jamal is much better in coverage than Atwater is. And, you know, Atwater, I mean, he plays good in the flats. He really does, especially having deflator. We have Ronnie with deflator. We got Atwater with deflator. We got... We got, we got everyone with deflator, including Clowney, all those guys. Everyone's got deflator. So energy uh, for my opponent is going to be hard to find out there for sure, man. And also Neville Hewitt. Um, being, having a linebacker out there that can also have 99 zone is definitely a big plus. And also he's playing the flats too. So that's why I'm liking this. I'm liking this uh, little lineup we got going here, man. But let's watch out for Waller. Coming out in kind of a spread formation, not doing, any, not doing anything really a bit too crazy. And he throws it up. And there is the route he was making a play. I mean, good luck. Dude, I mean, good luck throwing on this team. We got we got lockdown corners. We have the flaters, and this guy's actually gonna, gonna gonna go ahead and quit before Jimmy Graham can even touch the turf today. So I, I don't know if I'm gonna keep that in or what, but maybe I will. Hey, let's hop in the game too, I guess. So here we go on offense. First snap of the day, and one thing I have noticed is that in in this offense, at least, I barely feed my tight end. My tight end barely gets any kind of touches. So the plan today is to actually uh, I might I might put I might put um Jimmy Graham at slot receiver instead of playing him at tight end. You guys are here to see Jimmy Graham catch passes. Like right there, that would have been Jimmy Graham's reception. So I think I'm going to put Jimmy Graham. I'm going to put him at slot receiver and see what he can do. I'm going to see what he can do as a receiver, man. Because, I mean, tight ends, they pass block. I'm, I, I mean, I could do him on like, a, on like a nice little delay fade. But yeah, I rarely feed my tight end. Um, this guy looks to be user pass rushing too. So, I mean, if he stops user pass rushing, then maybe then Jimmy Graham will have, have a tougher time if he starts using him. But we're going to try... Jimmy Graham on the motion slant. He was on. Yeah, he's on Charles Haley. We're going to hit my man Jimmy open quick. And Jimmy Graham should be able to air truck at 265 pounds. Maybe there's some kind of, you know, trucking threshold and his trucking was awfully low. But yeah, Jimmy Graham should be able to air truck. But it could actually be deceiving because he's almost like a big target. That's almost what I think this card's going to be like. It's kind of like a big target because he's got low strength and also low trucking. So most likely... He's not breaking many tackles. Like, he's not running over any safeties. We're going to have to see how many times he does get hit stick today. But I think that might end up being a problem for him. But we should have him open again. I mean, this guy's getting us in the middle of the field all day. And there we go. Broken tackle for Jimmy Graham. I that was not expecting any kind of broken tackles today. But there we go. That's Roy Williams, too. Roy Williams is definitely a hitter as well. So, all right. Another motion slant. If this guy's going to try to use their pass rush, we're going to have the middle of the field open just all day. Um, You got to put a user out there because I don't know if there's... I mean, unless you maybe just drop a lineman in the coverage immediately it's hard to guard that middle of the field so right now i'm just kind of abusing jimmy graham short route running but i mean i'm taking what the defense is giving me you know taking it taking what they're giving me i'm gonna try a motion corner um whenever i try these they typically don't work but i mean we might as well give it a shot right so let's try a little is that a yeah let's try let's do a smoke screen motion jamie for a little motion corner if i can get out there that'd be beautiful i doubt this oh we actually we, we, we did get the playoff he's actually playing man coverage we're gonna see that route running Get Jamal Adams and yep. Okay, so Jamal Adams, we all know he's got 99 man coverage on most teams, probably on this one too. There was actually pretty good separation right away, but then it was taken away. I should have thrown it right on the dime, but yeah, that was kind of my bad. But also, Jamal Adams played some great coverage, and Jimmy's just wide open by himself. Oh, there we go. Jimmy with a nice little, a nice little stun right there. And we get our first touchdown of the day right there with Jimmy Graham. Um, showing, off, showing why he's a big target. And I mean, I've just been abusing the short route running because this guy's that was man. Wait, that was man? But I think, is Matchup Nightmare even lighting up? I can't even tell. All I know is that he's getting so open that it's not even funny. And that was Lawrence Taylor in coverage. All right, here we go. Let's see what the Cowboys theme team has to offer, man. Uh, who's that number 88 tight end? Is he running peak zone bubble on me right now? Oh, he threw the ball right at Clowney. You can't throw the ball right at Clowney. Now, that's a that's a bold call. I would not throw the ball his way. But just like that, we're back on offense. Literally took one throw. Yeah, so, I mean, the only route that I've been getting open today is just this motion slam. I mean, it's been open literally every single time versus a guy who just uses pass rushes and there we go beautiful oh my Deion sanders just hit staked me i mean if like what are we doing ea i mean i mean i'm talking i got a six seven 265 pound tight end with that somehow has got 80 strength getting put on his back by Deion sanders who weighs about 180 soaking wet dude all right i want him to get into man coverage because i think he may have been a little bit scared right there nope he wasn't scared at all oh yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a linebacker go get it Jimmy, touchdown. There we go on the corner route. Matchup nightmare lit up. Beautiful. On that, is that considered a mid route or a short route? Either way, 95 mid route running still very nice. And probably would have got the same separation as 99. But Jimmy Graham, second touch of the day. Far gets it there under pressure. Nice little sling. And Jimmy Graham for his second TD of the day, man. Love to see it.
Hey, this is a good route, apparently. So let's see if we can get it open. It's a little trail route. We got him open. He's, he's, he's got Carson, though. He does have Carson. He's got Carson. Carson's a pretty good user. All right, he's on Carson. We should actually have Jimmy open. Tough throw, though. Oh, and then, especially when there's a cornerback lurking right, right, right over the top of it. But Jimmy getting the job done. Jimmy is getting the job done. And do we try this little vertical route? Cover two. I mean, the middle vertical could end up being kind of a decoy. Or it could work beautifully. We're going to have to see what he comes out in. Motion out Julio. Kind of try to spread him out a little bit. No pause. And let me see if we can get... Oh, Jimmy might be open. Tough throw, though. Tough pass lead. Animate, Jimmy. He's animating. He's animating for these balls, man. Makes you think. I kind of wish I put deep out on him. I, I know I said it already. You're one of those abilities. But he's getting up, man. And if you... I mean, I've been agged many times by Randy Moss. Like, that's something that's happened to me a lot. Especially when they... they Dudes will put deep out on Randy, and it actually does work fairly consistently because Randy will animate. And it feels like Jimmy, Jim, I almost said Jimmy Garoppolo. Jimmy Graham's kind of that same thing. Will the corner out get open? I'm going to hit B underneath. I'm just trying to get my first downs. Oh, good click on, actually, because he kind of he kind of was anticipating the stop and kill. If Jimmy gets an inside release on this safety, if he's inside of that safety, I'm going to try to pass it right down the middle. It might be an interception, but I'm going to try it. Um, uh, gonna be a tough throw actually because the linebacker's there, but can we animate on him? And we do, so that's what I mean. Matchup nightmare, matchup nightmare is the reason why that happened. When I see a linebacker, it kind of works the same way it did in Madden 20, but you got to have a, a tight end that will animate like that. And Jimmy, he's animating like that, so yeah, that's all you really need. All you need is either a deep out or a red zone threat. And a lot of those balls that I did drop contested are gonna be catches for big gains, so that's why. I mean, I, it kind of comes down to play style. If I was a little bit more prepared, I probably wouldn't have ran matchup nightmare. But I mean, before that catch, I was thinking that. But after that catch, now I remember why I put matchup nightmare on. All right, guys. So that is going to do it for the Jimmy Graham gameplay. And even though Jimmy doesn't have, you know, the speed of Vernon Davis, Darren Waller, or Jeremy Shopkin, guys like that, I still think that Jimmy Graham is a top tight end in this game right now. Um, big body at 6'7". And I know I said it a million times in this video. This guy animates, and that's so important. There are so many cards. Honestly, I don't even know if my Vernon Davis animates like this card does, but if you're if you're running the right abilities on your tight end, whether you want to feed him in the red zone or you know, feed him in you know matchup nightmare against linebackers or or however you want to use this guy, um, I recommend putting either like deep out or one of those catch boosting abilities. Cause with, with that, on top of a card that already animates, if you've ever faced Randy Moss with deep out and faced a dude that just throws, you know, 50-50 balls to Randy. You know how consistent that is. I mean, every once in a while, yeah, you might throw a pick, but you know, if you, um, you know, if the pocket collapses and you need a guy to rely on, maybe Jimmy's that guy because just throw it up to him, and I mean, he'll come down with it at six seven with what? I mean, yeah, what does he have? Ninety nine jumping? Yeah, this guy's gonna animate like crazy. So, I hundred percent recommend this Jimmy Graham card. I wonder what his price does come down to, and also how expensive he's gonna be to fully power up. But I recommend this guy. Honestly, I might keep him around. I really might. I had a lot of fun using him today. And I've been using Vernon Davis for so long, even though Vernon might be a little bit better. I had a lot of fun using this Jamie Graham card today, so maybe he'll stick around. You never know. But, um, but uh, yeah, if you are still watching, I actually have no idea what the emoji is called, but it looks just like the Saints logo. So if you can find that Saints logo, comment that down below for a chance to be shouted out in the next video. And if you are new here, hit that subscribe button for notifications we post daily about in 21 content. And as always, I'll see you boys in the next one.